Hey guys, Banana Luck here, and welcome back to another Watch Your Realms video. We're back with the Insular 2 Hex Razak 15x van. The first one since the patch hit uh, the servers earlier this week, where we have a 15x van. And I'm seeing quite a decent amount of Hex and Insular 2 as well as Razak drops. So hopefully, we get one of those. I don't need Razak, I already gotten him from the normal summons and then I already gotten that XP bonus that we wanted to go for. So we do need Captain Rift to maximize that but we don't have enough summons to go for both. I really want a A3 Zalitu. So right now Guild Boss we're hitting at about 62k and I think Zalitu at A3 will help a lot here because of that extra ultimate duration and that's gonna ensure that uh the ultimate on Zillitu will always be on when you have Laurel uh, Rich boosting her. And Hex, obviously, that's a no brainer. We won him at A1. Uh, A1 is huge because uh, this ultimate deals 500% damage three times instead of 400%, and also inflicts that slow as well. So A3 is, I think, where the juicy stuff is, extending its ultimate duration, but I don't think we'll have the resources to get there. So having one copy of Hex and one copy of Zillitu would be sweet, but I honestly want Zillitu more because I have her built up well enough already that I think I can maximize it, whereas Hex is still not in the best gear to, you know, so without further ado, we're going to do some summons. I have had a bit saved up. This racks up to about 380 summons, not counting for the bonus that we get from the summon rewards, as well as the uh, selling of the rares. Let me just check if we've leveled everything so we have some slots. We have ample EXP, so no worries if we run our slots halfway. Just want to clear them so we at least get 200 summons at least once. There we go. Okay, so fingers crossed, we we get lucky. We don't go to full PD because uh, there is a raid up on legendary heroes, which is something that we haven't seen for a while. So yeah, we go starting. Starting off with rare packs. The bomber. Reverse, go back some gems. We are 47 in the PD, so that was like 57. And let me just head out to collect the rewards here because I yeah, completed that quest so we can hit the tempo again. Some summons here, this as well. And we have to do the same. It's epic at the very least. I do want to get some of the new heroes. I think it's Esme and Jorge. I think they have been released in the pool. But nope, could be done instead. Literally the most common hero out there. That's a fire attack. More epics. The yeah, new heroes would be nice, so we can do some testing. Especially if the Boris Codex comes back, we can test up. Yeah. My row instead on the 10x heroes. And with me done. We do have one divine. Uh, we haven't got any legendaries for I think over uh, 10 of those. So maybe we could get lucky with that. More blue text. More greens, almost. Okay, here's another epic. I drew first epic marksman in the game. There isn't a spiritual altar event, which is really odd. Okay, nice. One of the new heroes, Esme. 
design wise looks very similar to Nix. No surprise. Uh, once I did with the ally of Nix, and so, okay. let's just share this for the diamonds. And, okay, looks like we'll be able to do some testing. If it works out anywhere. I saw someone on Discord getting Jorge like to A5 in one session, so yeah. That's more epics. Evelyn. Oh, three epics. Four epics. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of points. We are gonna go into the gems category almost. Um six four two six. I think we are how many 90, 137 in the field. I might go full in the field at the rate things are going. It's a lot, some extra points. The thing about Apex is that it doesn't really excite me anymore because we really have gotten all of them in the game except for the new ones that came out. So yeah. It's the part that bumps people up. It's another epic. It would be nice if we could, could get Jorge. Because I want to try him if Conqueror's Codex comes up next. He seems really good for that, specifically. Okay, I think we have 40 more, 43 more before we hit full PD. So the next four pulls. Text again, just gonna skip that, and now we're heading into PD territory. So, any of the next 10 pools could be okay. Hitting it at PD. Let's see, we go. Let's see if we can get lucky. No fishman, please. Hex or Zillitu. Zillitu will be the best if you can even stop pulling for the day. Okay, that's gonna be my first legendary that I'm gonna sell because. A bomb is an A5. Yeah. That's unfortunate. 15x not working. Uh, the, where we're at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 4, 9, oh, where we hit P. So that was like 201 sums. We definitely have enough for one more PD, so. Just gonna go for that. Four nine zero. Hopefully we get lucky and not hit PD again. I do have a bomb at A five and I do use him in GBG, but yeah, he's extra now, so there's really no point holding on to him. This might actually spur me to sell units and get the Valeria Stone Stone, but yeah, I'll sit on it for a while still. But am I? Let's continue on. I think I'll probably hit the... Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Just a bit more. So maybe we'll do a couple of nap. Or maybe we'll just do... Divine Pool. Yeah. No, it's going to be an epic. See how much points do we get, though. Be right. Then I'll catch the moon for you. Let's go back to this. Epic. Okay. Let's see if there's enough points. Fine. Yep, there it is. How many have we got? Last legendary was ten summons ago. That was the hard suit band when things were pretty crap. Okay, that's it. Legendary cinematics, please. As either cinematics will work out well.
Okay, Valkura, I wouldn't be mad about it because I have been wanting to get her to A1 for a bit. And this finally pushes us there. It's gonna help in Conqueror's Codex. GBG most importantly with that extra power range. And yeah, the cinematic is just very cool looking. I think we're still going to try to pull onto one more hero though, like try to get one more legendary before we end off. Do one that's a little uh, lost. And I do one that full X to start working. Because clearly for me, I went in a full PD. Yeah, that's nice. If no one else will defend my yeah. people. Been waiting for this for a while. Haven't gotten Valkyra since like centuries ago. So that puts her at A1. Right over here. And that gives that extra tower range. So this saves me a lot of trouble. Actually I don't I might I might not even have to run Gwendolyn at the top anymore for a gear dungeon. But yeah, that's done and dusted, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Valkyra. No. The Phoenix hero so far. Let's continue on with the summons. 6506. It's gonna be 210 more books. It's an epic. Okay. More epics. That is built to something nice. Bomb was really like last. We went in full PD for a hero that we can't even awaken anymore. Okay, 2x is working, finally. No Razak, please. No Razak, please. Come on, Zilly 2 A3. Zilly 2 A3. Nope, Fishman. Just have to come. Oh, double! Wow! And it's Hex! Oh my goodness, double, okay, I can't complain now. I will take that bomb happily because, yeah, double legendary, 40 pulls away, that's crazy. Yeah, Hex A1 is huge. A3 is really where things get juicy, but I don't have Araka to fully maximize that, so yeah, this is good enough. Never really complain about double legendaries. Nice. Wow. Okay, um we still pull maybe we'll pull to like 10k gems because I do want to save up some for I strike true events that might be upcoming just as that stamina. That's nuts. Okra runs up hacks. Okay, let's continue on. Hope for some luck. Yeah, 40 pulls in and we got that. That's crazy. Okay, more epics. Yeah, Jorge will be nice. And there's Ancient Summonings as well tomorrow. And that's the one where Valderon gets introduced, but we don't have much Ancients at the moment. And we just popped our Lord PD on Leia, so. Okay, quite on a strict with the epics, no blue packs. I really complain, but yeah, epic coins are a big, big bunch of resource that no one really uses, which is unfortunate. Really do hope that they add more stuff for it. I realized I didn't update my PD. Yeah, so excited about the hex. I might not awaken him immediately just for testing reasons, but. Let's just record that first. Six five seven six. Six five seven six. Minus forty one. That's six seven four. Six seven one five. Okay, calculated correctly. Okay, so 
six, five. They shall regret displeasing my masters of all. Six, five, four, one. Yeah, that's the right one. And two X. Sometimes just hits you differently. Like how we had a back to back with Hatsuit. Yeah, this is another one of those moments. I really do want that Zilla 2 A3. That just continues to elude us. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. You have quite a bit to go. Nope. Back to the blue packs. Epic again. I mean, Hex Artifact, the exclusive, does help a bit. I think I got to like 160 million, so A1 could probably prop that up even more. But yeah, not having Araka really tips the scale because I have Torador and Arrogance and Lust both just do better with it. More Epics. I might consider going into full PD just to try for a Zilla 2, but let's see how. Blue tags. Just gonna take that. Epics. Okay. It's a bummer that there's no spiritual auto because this of summoning events where people generally go big that's where spiritual auto comes in really handy but yeah. surprisingly the game chose not to do that uh, 6636 how far are we 6636 so there's like 120 more pools do we have enough i think it's barely enough so remove the button so that the sell button goes up we just do some quick calculations. Yeah, we have 137 more pools, but that will leave us quite empty in terms of targets. So we'll do a couple of this single pools, do 10x, do two 10 pools, and then we'll just call it a day. Yeah. The blood X. of a thousand generations runs in my veins. We're gonna have luck after that 40 pools and up the legendary. That's alright, still win. Uh, especially with the hex A1. And hex is pretty rare. Like the only times I put hex is during a hex man. It's an epic. We're gonna get Hall Hate and Blue Cat. No, the next one done. Next. Okay, another epic. Wow, okay, two epics. Okay, one more ten pool. Could this be the one? No, it's gonna be an epic only. But that's fine. I wish the CC gems came in though, because I thought they were actually coming clutch in. Deliver that on time. Oh wow, great. That's pretty rare. I think I've only put great twice, twice on this account. This is the third time. I already awakened him, but yeah, it's really MVP for the new gear dungeon. If you want to do the you know uh no tank, no anti-heal lineup, which is why I did. Yeah, this guy is great. Probably gonna call it day six 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 four. That's how many summons in. We need 100 more summons to get there. So if we actually wipe everything, we might get there, but yeah, I think it's much better to you know, claim some of this so you can get some. Is there any summoning crystal? There is some. But no, I need to do some calculations, probably get some exclusives. But yeah, that's probably gonna be it for the video. See if any rewards we can claim. Yeah, one summoning crystal. Have we done this after reset? So 
that's clear. And yeah, look at this. Asia server is just the not even at the first milestone yet. And yeah, maybe we'll get lucky with some of the ancient summons. Maybe I'll try my luck again. But for now, this is probably going to be it. I hope you guys were equally as lucky. Uh, this was quite a good uh, never something session for me. Getting Valk to A1, that's huge for GBG. Because right now, with my defense, I am missing that one power range. So if you can see set up here... So that's the one with Valk. So you see, with A1, I hit all the way. So units start getting hit once they reach here. But previously, without that, uh, I needed an ultimate to start hitting. So yeah, this is huge for me. And then obviously, Hex A1, that's great. Uh, having a chance to draw that extra uh, the additional cut, which does way more damage. Rezak, Abomination, we'll just treat that as type. Yeah. I don't think I'll awaken my Razak because I really don't use him anywhere except for the XP rate, just for the extra XP. And then a bomb is really uh, fully awakened, so we have no choice but to sell him. But yeah, it's huge. I will try to do a video, maybe see the difference in terms of damage. But for now, this is going to be it. Uh, thanks, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys were as lucky. Let me know now in the comments if you did get lucky and you know what you summon, how many summons you use, and yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.